I'm back uh, with the same chapter we were discussing earlier that is the road not taken. So as a kind of revision, let me tell you some of the important points okay, of this poem. Uh, everything is there quite in front of you on the screen. So you just see that and try to make a note out of these points out of your mind. Okay, so let's begin. The first point is this poem emphasizes on the importance of taking right decisions at the crucial moments in our life. As I have already told you that life will give us so many options and it depends upon our decision making skill which decision we are making and how it is going to make the difference in our life in future. Okay, so next point is here the poet has reached a turning point where he has to make a decision. So life brings us uh, some points, okay, some, some, you know, uh, some time, particular time and that particular time plays a crucial role in our lives because on that time only we have to choose, we have to select one of the several options that life offers us, okay. So, uh, the poet also in the same way he reached a turning point where he gets a diversion okay he was walking and walking then he got a diversion like our life we lead our life very smoothly but once on a particular point our life gives us many options and we have to select one because all the options cannot be lived by every individual okay so let's go to the next point. There are two paths before the poet. One leads to the undergrowth and the other is less traveled by people. So here uh, the poet sees that two diversions are there and he sees, he tries to observe just to check that whether this road is good for me or that one. Okay, which road is to be taken by me? So when he was observing, he saw that one road, it was bent to undergrowth. That means when he tried to check, he could see the dense forest there. It was going to the undergrowth. And the other one is less traveled by people. That means there, uh, very less people only had trodden on. I mean, they had walked on the particular road. The poet takes a long time to arrive at a decision because he knows that the decision which he takes now will make a big difference to his life. Then now that was the point, that was the time of dilemma for Robert Frost. Because once he chooses one option, then he cannot get back to another one. Once he selects the option means yes, he has to live the same option uh, which will lead many other options in his future. So that point which was crucial where he had to make a decision which is going to make a big difference in his life. So he thought and thought for a while to have a self-reflection uh, for that thing, for that matter, which road is to be taken which road is to be chosen. He decides to take the less traveled path because he wants to be unique. So then what he did, uh, he tried, he just decided that let me take this path where nobody has walked, where very less people have walked. It shows that less people have walked means this road definitely is a very unique one, maybe more adventurous. So why not I'll be very adventurous? Maybe Robert Frost was an adventure seeker. That's why he wanted to be very adventurous. And that's why he selected the particular road which was less traveled by, where not many people had walked on. After some time, he realizes that both the roads were equally used by people. He chooses one path. He walks over that. And after, after some times, he could notice that both the roads are the same. Nothing like the road which he chose uh, was very unique or adventurous. 
he could find the similarity between both the roads both the roads were equally used by people over there the poet keeps the other path reserved for another day then he thought that okay i selected one and i left another i'll be back one day to the same point to take the another road here if you connect it or if you relate it with your life once you take a decision it cannot be taken back once you took a decision means yes it is final and you are going to live with that decision for example okay let me take a simple example um uh, after class uh, in uh, 10th okay after class 10th if you have two options one is to take science or commerce okay you are a bit confused whether science is better or commerce so at that point you have to select what you will do you will just try to check on it you will see from the perspective of your future in my future which will be a better uh, like um, uh, decision for me if i take science is it going to be a better decision or if i take commerce it is going to be a better decision at that point of time you will think and think you will take many suggestions from your parents from your relatives from your friends uh, and then you probe into yourself that which is better for you then finally you take a decision and you know if you select science or commerce after some months when you start uh, living being a student of science or commerce you'll definitely think that what would it be if i would have chosen the other one why i chose uh, science why didn't i choose commerce maybe if i would have chosen commerce it would be something different maybe i would have scored much or maybe i would have performed very well i would have been like uh, proven myself in a better way so that decision making point is very crucial and in the same time it's very confusing also it will make us to be very very confused we will be muddled up with our you know choices and options which one to take which one to leave let's go to the uh, next point the poet keeps the other path reserved for another day he doubts that he would ever have a chance to come back once a decision is taken it is forever you have to be satisfied with it once you take a decision that means it is final you have to be very very satisfied with that because it was your decision nobody imposed upon you that you take this or that it is better you have to make the choice because it is your life okay so the poet says that after many years he would say that he chose the less traveled path and that made all the difference in his life so when he chose one path and he starts living in that uh, you know choice and after some years definitely he'll be telling that there were two roads in front of me there were two options for me and i selected this and left that and this made the difference in my life he will tell people that our life depends on the decisions we take the decisions will have great influence on our life so finally the moral of this poem what robert frost actually wanted to tell us is everything depends on our skill of making decisions what we are choosing and what we are living the decisions will have a great influence on our life hence it can be said that the present holds the future this present moment when i am here with so many options and one option i have to choose this present moment holds a great importance for my future children uh, this was it for the revision of this poem now i would like to put some questions here basing on the revision okay you have to write down the answers of these questions first question is 
why did the poet feel like traveling both the roads i repeat why did the poet feel like traveling both the roads second question why did the poet choose the other road i repeat why did the poet choose the other road next question what did the poet see in the yellow wood i repeat what did the poet see in the yellow wood next question how was one path different from the other how was one path different from the other next question does the poet regret his decision i repeat does the poet regret his decision that's it for the question and uh, questions you have to write down the answers of these questions out of your mind okay so that's it for today thank you so much